what Allah is saying to the community of the believers, we have to understand the context and the condition of the ummah when this verse was revealed. So this is an early Madani surah, and this ayah was revealed shortly after the battle of Bad. Now, I want you to think of the mindset of the Muslim in early Medina. You've been through 13 years of persecution. You lived in a city that did not allow you to practice your faith. You saw the Messenger of Allah getting physically assaulted. You yourself were probably physically, verbally, emotionally assaulted. You witnessed the Shi'ab of Abi Talib. You experienced social, economic boycott. You probably had to leave your home, and therefore you're entering Medina now at an economic disadvantage. You had to leave a life behind. You're now entering a new city, and if you think your problems are over, they're not over. Because the likes of Abu Sufyan, Abu Jahl, they're not going to leave you alone because they see the danger of this religious movement. So you see that the Muslims transition from a life of persecution in Mecca to a life that is filled with defensive conflict. Muslims now are having to fight battle after battle to preserve their religious identity. So you can imagine that there is a lot of emotional fatigue in the Muslim community. We know that the Muslims won the Battle of Badr, mainly because of the sword of Ali ibn Abi Talib sallallahu alayhi so it's after the Battle of Badr. And there were casualties on both sides. There's no denying that. So Muslims, they lose some of their fellow brothers in faith in battle. When a Muslim dies in battle, that means that there, is now, there are now widows. There are now orphans. And they know that the Battle of Badr is not the last battle. They know that there are going to be battles they're going to be subsequent battles. So you can imagine that the Muslims are very unsure and uncertain about their future. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals this ayah. وَلَا تَهِنُوا وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنَ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Allah says, وَلَا تَهِنُوا do not consider yourselves weak. Allah is speaking. You know, brothers and sisters, the Muslims were poor probably until the battle of Khaybar. That's when they started to see some money. Up until the battle of Khaybar, almost the entire Muslim community was living below the poverty line. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after they fight their first battle, and they now see loss of life. They are, they're already at an economic disadvantage. They're uncertain about the future. Allah says, do not deem yourselves weak. This is a reference to your present mental attitude. You have, you're, the mi you're, you're the minority in all of the battles. You're outnumbered in every battle, but do not consider yourselves weak. وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا And do not grieve. You've lost money. You've lost your homes. You have lost lives. You will probably lose more lives. But do not grieve. Do not let the misfortunes of the past impact your mental attitude today. What should be the mental attitude of the believer? وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنَ in kuntum mu'mineen. Allah says, don't think that you're weak. And don't grieve because you are the highest people if you believe in me. Why are you the highest? Why are you superior? Because you are the bearers of my message. Islam will reach every corner of the globe because of what you're doing today. 
People will read about your sacrifices because of what you did today. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the mental health, the emotional health of the Muslim. 